Britannia, hey guys, how's it going? A land of Emerald Isles. So that, I've just got some things to get kings, set up, so just watch this while it's going on. Of war. England. King Henry sits upon a hungry throne, thirsty for more land. The Norwegians. Warriors happy to pay the blood price for their ambitions. Scotland. From the highlands and across the lowlands comes a spirited people ready for battle. Wales. A people of song and sword, and leaders that will bend their knees to no man. And Ireland. Suspicious of his neighbors, the Irish warrior never sleeps, though he dreams of conquest. Britannia. One realm. Five kings. Total war. How's it going, guys? So we're playing as Ireland today. Turns out today's St. Patrick's Day, so... I figured, why not? Why not? Why not? I haven't played as Ireland since that SYDC. So let's kick the fucking English out of, out of Ireland. Huh? Let's give them the old... Oh shit, hang on. God, that wasn't really good. Oh well. Petition again, legend to say everything in Irish accent. Ah, Australian's close enough. Where's the fight? My king. We shall slaughter. I'd only butcher the Irish accent anyway, so don't bother. Don't worry about it. Ah, closing to crush the enemy. Let none live alive, lads. Slaughter! Are you sure that shirt is green? It's the greenest thing I've got. Okay, I don't I don't walk around with I don't have a lot of green shirts. This is the greenest thing I've got. Right. Kill them quickly, lads! And let's be at their women folk! <laughs> Let's get these gates open. How's it going guys on D-Live as well? Thanks Alexander for the uh, the lemon donation, appreciate it dude. The gates are down! The gates are down! How do you stop my family members from dying in their 60s? You can't. That's when they hit old age and they die after that. You, you can't stop that. When my family members hit 60 I pretty much just Except that they're dead. Yeah, probably not going to hit them with that. Can't fire at the ground. Uh, I will take out some more of these walls, I think. We've got the ammo. I don't really care how much damage you do to the wall, but we've got to protect our soldiers. Exercise and diet can have a cute benefit. Yeah, they're talking about in game. You, you, you can't give them exercise and diet in the game. It won't make any difference. 
doesn't matter how many hit points they've got, when they hit 60 they start to die. As an ancient Jericho, the walls fall before the righteous. Send our men through to slay our ungodly foe. Yeah, to be honest, living it on standard show is just so much more accurate. It does plenty of damage. If they can get the hit in. I think this one's not aiming properly. Actually, I think they can both go a little bit more over this side. This one's kind of hitting, we use flaming shot with them. If we can get one good hit in there, we'll do a lot of damage, but that's that's the problem, you gotta get that hit, it's so inaccurate. Hitting everywhere. Oh, that did some damage. Mangonels? Blech. Don't like mangonels. As I've made very clear, don't like them. I've only got one melee infantry, so I kind of need to use what I've, what I've been given to begin with. Good, we took out those Hobolars. So, other units, they've got another unit of Hobolars here. More Spear Militia. So at least one unit of melee infantry, they're not going to be enough. Then again, these guys here can be some me uh, melee. Uh, new member, welcome Maori Colors. Thanks, dude. Uh, thanks for the membership. Welcome. is with us today. We have captured the enemy's walls. The battle is very much in our favor. Make sure he doesn't if die, we're okay. True and steadfast. Shit. Only half the enemy force remains. The enemy Our general. men have captured the enemy general. Guard them well, so we can watch us defeat the rest of his army. So far so good. Good, taking out all their archers. Everything's going well at the moment. we still got more ammo, so... It'll help. Do they have a general's bodyguard here? Guess not. Not seeing anything. Oh no, of course, because we already, we already got him. Yeah, with their general dead, they can't leave the town square now. They just break. Okay, 
Okay, this one's out of ammo. Come back over here. You can, you commit. No, no, not you. Everyone's been waiting for your Rome to the Wall iPad review. There's no point living until you deliver. Yeah, well, you can, you can just keep on waiting. I'm not doing one. Like I've, like I've said before, until it comes out on my fucking air conditioning remote, just no deal. <laughs> no deal until that's happened. Hang on, I got javelin men, why don't we use them? These daisy javelin men are actually pretty good in melee. What do you do when you're not playing Total War? Shit, I don't know. I'm usually asleep. I'm pretty much always playing Total War. I don't have a choice. Just finished my latest mod review. Not overly happy with it, but I didn't know what else to do. I'm thinking I'm probably stopped doing these mod reviews. Just don't really like mods that much. All of Christendom will be Play some ancient empires in a live stream. Yeah, I just I don't want to. That's the thing, I just don't want to. Your foes lie dead at my feet, sire. Have you got all achievements? I, I can't be bothered doing achievement hunting. I don't find that very interesting at all, so no, I, I don't have all achievements. I don't bother with it. And most of the achievements are just you're just time consuming. It's just like, oh, win a campaign with this faction. Win a campaign with that faction. Ugh, whatever. I mean, there's no achievements in Medieval 2, so. Don't need to worry about that today. Alright. Next thing we'll take. Trim. Where to? My lord. An enemy to crush. My king. Alright, I got a few troops here. I guess I can go to Athenry, but this one would be better, so I'll do that. Aye. Forward. Where's the fight? Command me. Aye. Where's the fight? Alright. I'm not taking the catapults with us, Aye. they just slow me down, so. Since we started off with it, I'll use it. But apart from that, that's all I'm using them for. We may come here, lads. I, my liege. I get these guys together. Start off with plenty of money. Tax rates are all fine. Yes, my king. At your service. And then we just need yes, intel on, on what we're going up against here. Quietly. Cool. Moving on. Son off for that, 2,500. Now I'm gonna worry about kicking the English out of Ireland first, and then we'll, we'll see how we go. An enemy to crush. March. Aye. Who needs a second smile? Name the target. Aye, Lord. 
Let's get everyone into King Brian. And we will see how we go. March! Combining the armies, sire. Aye, Lord. So, income per turn, we're, lo uh, we're, we're not gaining very much. So, right. once we get another settlement, we'll be fine. Aye, sire. This is a pretty sizable army. We'll be able to do some stuff with that. And we got things being built. Cool, moving on. Sure, why not? An enemy to crush. March. Set watches. We rest here. My king. Leaving the army. Send two of cavalry in there. That, that way they just got free upkeep. What do I think of the Ancient Empires mod? Yeah, it's alright, but I got bored of it pretty quick, to be honest. Oh, they've already lost Dublin. Like, I just, yeah, when it comes to mods for uh, Total War Attila, Rome 2, I just, I get bored of them really, really quickly. I, d I don't find they extend the playtime for me very much at all. Like, I think, I think they're good, but... I don't know. They just don't do it for me. Sire, my king, march! We've marched up. At your service. They won't care Alright, let's try to open the smoking. gates here. Got heaps of spies. Where's my other ones? Aye. Who do you want? At your service. On my way. Yes, my king. At your service. Alright, if I send this guy down here, we'll be able to easily repel him, so nothing to be concerned about that. Okay, moving on. Oh shit, did I actually kill him? Success, nice. Well that'll make the assault a bit easier. Yes, my king. Probably gonna die. Yep. Probably gonna die. Yep. 50-50 <laughs> chance. What are you gonna do? What? We shall slaughter them. Merging armies, sire. Aye, Lord. Onward! They'll be begging for their lives soon. March! Is it time to take the walls? What do I think of Man the Guns DLC? I haven't played it. I haven't played. I haven't played uh, Hoi Four in like six months, and I don't think I will play it for another six months, at least. I just don't want to play it. We shall slaughter them, sire. All right, let's do this. Fell them like firewood, lads. Do buildings repair slowly in Medieval 2? No, they don't. 1212 mod? I've never played the 1212 mod, at least in terms of the campaign. And uh, I played the custom battle. I did that 1453 battle. It was shit, but whatever. Just got some potato drink here. It's vodka. Just kidding, it's water. I don't drink. I tell you that God hates all Do these guys have bonus? Yeah, they've got a bonus versus armored. Okay, let's get organized first. They so got a dog's breakfast.
How can you install stainless steel 6.4 on your Mac? Uh, here's what I advise. Get your Mac and throw it in the bin and go get yourself a PC. <laughs> well, who the fuck buys a Mac and play games on it? I've got a Mac. I don't play games on my goddamn Mac. So, no, no offense, but like... Oh, what am I doing? Um... Why are you playing? Why are you playing games on your Mac? It's, I don't know. Does Medieval Two even work on the Mac? Am I drinking anything? Ah, uh, no, I don't drink. I'm just, I'm basically just using the, uh, the St. Patrick's Day thing to try to get views, that's it. But, uh, I have, I have no other interest in, I didn't even know it was St. Patrick's Day until people, uh, in the yesterday's stream said it was St. Patrick's Day. I didn't even know. Why don't I like drinking? Um, okay. Well, I guess it's for multiple reasons. Um, I feel like drinking alcohol just makes me stupid. And I, f I don't enjoy it. I just don't enjoy it. Is that not a good enough reason? Like, I don't have fun when I get drunk. I always end up regretting uh, the night after I drink. You know? I'd, I'd drink, and then the, night, the the next morning I'd be like, Ugh, I wish I didn't drink. And then I just said to myself, Why don't I just, why don't I just not drink then? Our men have reached so that's what I decided. I was just ladder. like, you know what? I'm just not going to drink anymore. So, like, I'll have a glass of wine every now and again. But as for getting drunk, never again. Not interested in it. You did get drunk on a stream once as I was around, but yeah, but that was literally years ago. And again, I regretted it. So, and I'm sure some of you guys have f have fun when I get drunk, but I don't have fun. I don't personally enjoy it, which is why I've decided not to do it anymore. It sets a bad example as well. It's irresponsible. It d it's like... I don't know. Like, if you want to get drunk, go right ahead, but it's just not for me. I just prefer to be sober. Didn't you once throw your mouse at a fan because you were losing in a room to the wall during a drunken stream? I don't know. I don't know. Shit, that stuff would have been a very long time ago, though. Very, very long time. So... I can't remember that. It sounds like something I'd do when I was drunk. The Lord is with us today. We have captured the enemy's walls. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Draw them away from here. There we go. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Good tidings. The enemy generalized dead. Only half the Gucci. enemy force remains. No, I haven't heard of it. 
I don't I don't drink, so I don't I don't know. I don't look guys, I don't I don't really I know it's St. Patrick's Day, but I don't particularly want to get hassled about not drinking. If we remain true and steadfast, okay. victory will be ours. Didn't you promise Angren can't tame for the day? No, I didn't. I didn't say anything. I never promised uh, what, what the next stream's gonna be. May have speculated, but I never made any promises. May I say maybe. Maybe I'll do it. If I say maybe I'll do something, sometimes we go, oh, I bet you promised. No, I didn't. Did you watch Filthy Frank? I, I did, yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Good shit. This is a clear victory. Ah, <laughs> victory! This place has fallen before us, sire. Is cavalry good against dismounted knights? Uh, not especially. Like, against dismounted knights, you really need, like, crossbows. Or, you know, if you want to charge into them, yeah, that works. But you can't charge into them in, in a city properly, so that's why you're not going to use those, those men. Aye. Who needs a second smile? Whoa, fucking succeeded. Nice. Nice. Excited about three kingdoms? No. I honestly, I just don't care. Honestly, to be honest, like, if it wasn't my job to play Total War, I wouldn't have put, I wouldn't purchase Three Kingdoms. That's how I feel about it. The only reason I'm going to get it is because I have to. That's it. I don't actually want to get it. Yeah. An enemy to crush. Right, well, they've got... I lord. Hang on. Come over here, and you yes, see if we can get into Dublin. 40% chance of opening I'm the gate, me. and the gate's open! Nice! Aye. Let's get some Closing mercenaries to, to help us out with this. Those walls won't protect them for long. Is it time to take I think we'll manage. We shall slaughter them, sire. Are you gonna play Three Kingdoms or live or test first? Okay, so... Here's the thing. What I always do with any Total War game that I get, I get it first and I play normal difficulty. Let me ask you guys in the chat. Do you want me to live stream play it on normal difficulty first? Because I like to get the feel for the balance. Playing on legendary difficulty right off the bat doesn't actually make you very good at Total War. Oh, God, that I could find it's purely just bragging rights. I remember when Rome 2 first came out, I played at legendary difficulty right off the bat and I, I did not become better playing it. So I'm going to go on normal difficulty first, that way I can test out what, what the balancing is like. Because on legendary difficulty and, and on hard difficulty and beyond, the balancing gets fucking thrown out the window in every Total War game. Plan normal difficulty first, get a feel for the balancing, and then go straight to legendary difficulty. Honestly, guys, I don't enjoy complaining about Total War. I actually really get tired of it. And if if Three Kingdoms is going to be shit, I'm just not going to play it. Because I'm so tired of just complaining about Total War. Like, I've given up trying to fight for better Total War games. I just don't care anymore. You know? And Three Kingdoms... I don't think it's going to be a bad game, but I also don't think it's going to be a particularly good game either. So, I just... I just don't care. Like... Excellent. Our spy has opened the gate. If, if Creative Assembly could just do me a favor and delay it another six months, that would be great. <laughs> they could just do me a big favor and delay it. That'd be... That'd just... Do me a big favor. Purely just because I don't want to play it.
Do you think Sia will ever develop good enough AI that they don't have to use cheats in order to get hard difficulties? Uh, I don't know. Don't know. I don't know if they really need to either. You, tr truth be told, um, I don't think the AI is one of the main things today. that I have the problems with. Like, the AI has always been bad in a Total War game, right? But I've I've enjoyed, you know, some Total War games more than others. What I just want is, like, the, the game to be fun. And if the AI is, like, kind of silly, that's not so bad. As long as the game's got, you know, some good features. But I don't know. I don't know. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. By the saints, our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Do they all be bad for you because people will keep asking your opinion? <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. But at the same time, I feel like the release of Three Kingdoms is going to be bad for me no matter what. Like, okay, if we just, just pause this for a moment. If we take um, Thrones of Britannia as an example, the release of Thrones of Britannia was so bad for me. Because, obviously, I played the game and I was very negative towards it. Negativity is not good for views, okay? All I want is views, right? But at the same time, I'm not going to lie to you guys and pretend like something's amazing when it's not. So, if a game that's going to come out that I literally have to cover is going to be shit, it's bad for me no matter what, unless I lie about it. And I just don't want to lie, you know? I'd love nothing more than to just be 100% positive about these games, but I just, that's just, uh, just a flat out lie. And I, I just, I've got a little bit more respect for you guys than to lie to you like that. I'm going to lie to you, I'm going to lie to you about something silly, you know? Like the fact that uh, I get emu legs, you know? That's a harmless lie. Uh, I don't know. How are we going on D-Live? 30 viewers, cool, how's it going guys on D-Live? We had Crab Factor donate two diamonds, thanks dude, appreciate that. And two lemons, Red Wing donated a lim lemon. How's it going guys? Thrones of Britannia has improved a lot at least. Not really. We're going to live with the diamonds. Okay, so I stream on, on YouTube and on DLive. On DLive, the currency is, is, is a cryptocurrency called Linos. And uh, it's broken up into four different categories. Lemons are worth one Lino. Ice creams are worth ten. Diamonds are worth one hundred. And Ninja Ginis are worth a thousand Linos. A, a diamond is roughly a dollar twenty US. Roughly. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Yeah, as I was saying, 
Um, I'm very, very tired of complaining about Total War games. I, I really wish I could just be positive towards one, which is why I'm looking forward to Warhammer 3. I feel like Warhammer 3 is going to be the first Total War game in a really long time that's going to come out that I'm actually going to be very positive towards. I just, I just feel it like it's going to be good, you know? My instincts on Total War are usually spot on. Like, I had some major concerns with three, uh, with uh, Thrones of Britannia when I... Just having a look, I was like, oh, I got some major concerns. And I was right with those concerns. I don't want to be right, because I'm usually quite negative. Um, I was... Actually, I was kind of wrong with uh, Warhammer 2. Although well, Warhammer 2 got better as... With Mortal Empires. Kind of. It took them a while, though. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Well, yeah, uh, thanks. But, uh, do you know, here's the funny thing, right? St. Patrick is the patron saint of Ireland. He con essentially converted Ireland to Catholicism. And at the same time, it's also sort of like the patron saint for getting drunk. I don't get drunk, and I despise the Catholic Church. So, <laughs> me celebrating uh, St. Patrick's Day is just a pure novelty. Christian. We're not, we're not talking about religion today. Or at all, ever. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Yeah, people, people just uh, celebrate uh, St. Patrick's Day to get drunk. Uh, I really doubt anyone's sitting there going, Oh, praise Jesus, Ireland got converted to, on this day 1,500 years ago. I, I really doubt there's many people doing that. Have you thought about playing Payday 2 on my channel? I have actually played it before in the past. It didn't perform very well. But uh, it's... A, I'm a Total War channel. Um... So, I just don't see the point. Does this game use WASD for camera controls? You can put it as WASD. You can do that. It defaults to the arrow keys, but you can very easily change it. Hey, Kaz. Control of the city. Only half the enemy force Do I think remains. cav charges were historically inaccurate? Uh, no. If anything, in Medieval 2, it's probably the most accurate. Like, you take it. You take a knight. Like any any guy here, right? Take a knight. Like, how much? Is, how much is the horse weigh? Let's, let's have a quick look. I'm just going to do a quick Google search. How much does a horse weigh? Horses weigh between 380 to 1,000 kilograms. So, you know, this would probably be a, l a little bit on the heavier side of that. 
this is, you know, today. So an adult horse, yeah, between 380 and 1,000 kilograms, okay? Now, if they've got armor on top of that, plus a, a, a soldier probably weighing in at about 140 kilograms, you know, when you take into account all their armor, you've got something moving at a, at a, a something, 1,000 kilogram weight moving at 40 to 60 miles per hour, okay? In addition to having a lance or a spear thrown at you, uh, being charged in at that, there are very few people in the world that could brace and survive a charge like that. Yeah. So, you know, when you see when you see cavalry charging into units and basically rolling right over them, to me that seems normal. Oh man, I got one killed. Must be this one here. Yeah, it's this one here, died. It happens. No big deal. Easy come, easy go. Christendom will be in awe of the victory we have won here today. Yeah, that's why that's why horses had blinders on. They would literally charge blind into Your battle. Lie dead at my feet, sire. That's what they were for, because horses horses wouldn't charge into into spears, but you know the cavalry would be like, most of the spears we're going up against are just like men holding sticks. Um, let's just make the horses blind and charge them in. You don't need, you don't need your horse to, to to see, just need to be able to run. Well. I've already, I've we've still already conquered all of Ireland. Continue. Who do you want, dear? An enemy to crush. I lord. They'll be begging for their lives soon. March! Fell them like firewood, lad. Do you modern history channel on YouTube? It's about medieval things. I don't know what you're talking about with that. Speak better English. Do I cover modern history? Is that what you're trying to ask? No. I don't cover any history. I just play a game. I'm not a history channel. This is a gaming channel here, not history. Okay, if you're coming here to try and find out about history, I really don't know that much. So tell me medieval two is an accurate representation of medieval history? No, no. I just when people say uh, the charges are overpowered, I have to say no. I don't believe that that is the case. I believe that cavalry charges were probably that powerful, and that you know a, a single horse would probably trample multiple men on the charge, especially unarmored peasants. You know, it's like driving a truck into a, a group of uh, into a, like a crowd. You know, you, you're gonna t you're gonna kill people, and even if you didn't kill them, you, you're gonna break bones. And even if they were wearing armor, it would probably still you know crush them. Like I said, horses were very heavy. So 
Alright. So, oh, man, they're gonna stop right. In. What are they doing? They had a good charge on my archers there and they just missed it. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. The enemy army flees the field. That was easy. Them, cut the caverns. This is a clear victory! Well, that's sort of them, yeah. Cool. Victory! Where's the fight? I can't go there. All we're gonna do is take Athen, right? And then we're... Good to leave. We can invade the the mainland. What? Guess I could invade the mainland now. Nah, it's fine. We're gonna certainly need some ships. To our walls. Okay, I've only got a unit of peasants maintaining that, so we should definitely get me, you just send a small unit of cavalry over to go I sort came. that out. Losing in the enemy. Come on, lads! This battle is ours. Instead of a normal playthrough, do a drunk playthrough on St. Paddy's Day. Yeah, sorry, I don't drink, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, break that, just because of St. Patrick's Day, a day that I don't actually celebrate anyway. I only, I only use St. Patrick's Day live stream because it is St. Patrick's Day today, and that's it. Like I don't celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I don't. <laughs> this is the greenest thing I've got, you know. I don't celebrate it. I don't drink and I'm not Catholic. Happy to play as Ireland though. The our men have captured the enemy general. Guard them well. Why don't I drink? Uh because it's poison. I mean I sound like a big party pooper whenever I say, like, I don't drink, but, like, I'm 31 years old, nearly 32, um, and, all of Christendom I, yeah, will I just be don't drink. Of the victory we have won here today. It's like my drinking days are behind me. I usually, I don't have a reason to get drunk, ever. Like, why do, why, why get drunk? Like, I don't, I don't need to go out and, you know, meet people, so I don't need to drink for, to ease my social anxiety. I don't have any social anxiety, I just don't want to go out. I recall you doing a drunken Irish playthrough. Yeah, but that was like, what, four or five years ago? But yeah, you're right, I have done it in the past, but I'm not going to do it again.
And don't get me wrong, I, I like a nice glass of wine with a meal, okay? But as for sitting down, playing some games, and like having a beer, and like drink, 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 and get drunk, no. So Matt says, yeah, whenever I drink, I just say stupid shit and get into trouble with literally all of my friends. My ex-girlfriend even hated it. Yeah. Well, this this is this is the thing about drunk, uh, getting drunk. It's not that it's fun for you. It's supposed to be fun for everyone else to watch you act like a fool. Oh, did you see Jimmy? He fucking got smashed and, bat and bashed his head on the ground. What a fucking idiot. You know, or... You know, something along those lines. It's hilarious for everyone else. And quite frankly, I'm just not interested in being the class clown um, for your amusement sort of thing. If you want to get drunk, you know, all the more power to you. Yeah. I just don't feel like, for me personally, it doesn't enrich my life at all, so I just don't do it. Combining the An enemy to crush. Very well. Yes, my king. No vantage point there, sire. At your service. Aye. Who needs a second smile? Who or what needs removed? Aye, my liege. Aye, sire. I could use roads. Okay, lower the taxes here because it is it's growing. We've got silver there that we're not mining. Yes, my king. At your service. Yes, my king. At your service. There we go. Europa Universalis 4 for $10 or Rome 2 for 15 Go EU4, in my opinion. EU4 is way better than Rome 2. Although you do have to get a lot of DLC uh, for EU4 to make it really good. With Rome 2, you don't really need to get any of the DLC. But it's a shit game, I, so. I will only I don't know. You in battle. To each their own. By your will, sire, we shall engage. What's your opinion on stream.me getting shut down? Oh, is it? Oh, I feel kind of bad now. Because, like, they got in touch with me a little while back to, like, they wanted me to stream on stream.me, but I was like, eh, I've only just started streaming on DLive, and I kind of want to see how that goes there. So I turned them down. I, did not come here to fight I didn't know that they were going to shut down. I guess it's probably a good thing that I didn't start streaming on there, because, like, I don't think I was going to save the platform, personally. So, would have been a waste of time. I hope DLive isn't. There's no way DLive's shutting down. It's growing so fast. No way it's shutting down. You got some pretty big streamers heading over to DLive as well. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his Who's the top streamer on DLive? I would say it's probably uh, LT Zonda. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The enemy army flees the field. After them, cut the caverns down. Like in, actually, do you know what's funny? In terms of actual viewership, I'm pretty sure... Let me just have a look. How do, how do I fare at the moment? 
I'm number two on the on the on the platform at the moment. Um, I'm I'm usually number one or number two whenever I live stream, usually. Uh, but what holds me back is donations. LT Zonda like scores 150,000 donations in a single live stream. I'll be lucky to get 2,000. So his viewers donate shitloads more than mine. Which you know that's that's fine. Clear victory that goes to only in terms of viewers, I do pretty well. Kernbomb says, by the way, everyone, don't forget to wish Lurchin happy birthday. He will surely love it. Wrong! It's not my birthday today. Wrong. It's next week. It's next week. Like, I, yeah, I'm such a party pooper. Right? I don't, I don't ever celebrate my birthday. Like, even for my 30th birthday, I was like, I don't want to have a party. I don't want to throw, I don't want to have a 30th birthday. Um, but I, yeah, apart from my 30th, I haven't thrown a birthday party, like, I just don't throw birthday parties, I just don't want it. And so I don't ever go on about it on YouTube, I never tweet about it or anything like that whenever it's my birthday, but a part of me is thinking, you know what, if I go, Come it's on, my man. birthday, you know, next week, it could be a good way to get donations. <laughs> I hate celebrating my birthday, but I want money, so what do I do? Uh, not enough donations might be sad and all, but please do not eat lemons for that again. That was agonizing to watch. Yeah, I, I feel like d eating those lemons may have done more long-term damage to me, to viewership, than, than, I don't know. Hi, my liege. All right. Where's the fight? I prefer to avoid fighting that Aye, fort, so we'll go around this way. We mark an enemy to crush. Commandeering these men, sire. Oh shit. Um Avril became a member. Thanks thanks dude, appreciate the membership. Hang on, what the fuck? Orbital Summer says, at my thirtieth I played with my girlfriend, my boyfriend, and his girlfriend settlers. What are the odds your birthday is a week before mine? Uh, dude, my birthday is not a week before yours. My birthday is literally 15 years before yours. Okay? <laughs> you were not born one week after me. You were born like 16 years after me. Something like that. Okay. Legend, your birthday is on a Thursday. My birthday is on a Thursday. What are the odds? What are the odds that our birthdays are both on a Thursday? I don't even know if my birthday is on a Thursday. Command me. What's the best birthday party you've been to? Oh, you know, Jesus' birthday, Christmas. It's always a good party. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yes, my king. They won't, won't care them there, sire. At your service. I don't know. Birthday parties. I'm a party pooper, so... You know. You know, when I think about best times I've ever had... 
they've got to be like times where I just meet the wife, like go out to dinner, or times that I've found an amazing game and like played all night long. But when I think about like birthday parties, I can't think of any that I'm just like, oh yeah, you know what? We went to Jimmy's place and got drunk. That was the best birthday ever. No. I don't actually have very, very many fond memories, do I? Oh, I've lived a sad, pathetic life. Maybe I just had high expectations. Anyway, moving on. What? Very well. Yes, my king. Quiet as a mouse now. Your favorite memory is when I lost to the AI in Total War Tiller. Matt, you're making it about you. I honestly don't care about that. And that was not one of my favorite memories. You wasted my time with that campaign. You wasted my goddamn time. What? Four units. I lord. My king, move out. Combining the armies, sire. You're the Gordon Ramsay of Total War. Yeah, I've heard that. Um. This is this is what I this is what I think whenever I hear a um, whenever I get a new SYDC campaign, this is what goes through my mind. Just look, just look at the fucking mess in here. The shit, the disarray, the disorganisation, and look, 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 look at the mess. <laughs> I have a Gordon Ramsay soundboard just <laughs> sitting there, <laughs> which I was just wondering if I'll ever use. I might. We'll see. Copy strike incoming. Mm, no, it's too short for it to be copy striked. I've used that one before. Didn't get copy striked. the fight at your service they won't can oh spies they don't live long in medieval too we shall ah but luckily the gate's still open it's good they are doomed now sire ooh lots of dread this will be good there'll be no room for mercy today let you know it's fucking raw, yeah. Yeah. It's hilarious. Has opened the gates. Let's be done with this blasted siege. Lord is with us today. We have captured the enemy's walls. God damn it. I didn't want to just break them. We gotta run them down. Otherwise, what's the point? Organized you shits. The 
pathfinding. No, that's not necessarily the pathfinding, but the choke points. Just choke up inside of cities. Oh well, you're not supposed to be able to move your cavalry that round that fast. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. So you've got most of them, so that's that's good. We didn't really cut off as many as I would have liked. Screen not working for anyone else. Yeah, it crashed for me as well. I just had to re-log back into YouTube. It's fucking annoying. It does this every goddamn live stream. Oh well, still better than Twitch. We captured, you know, a decent number of them. Not as many as I would have liked. I guess the next thing would be to try to cap the town. Actually, let's get these... Hang on, hang on. Stay put. Let's get these archers over here. That'll help speed things up. Because that, that fight could go on for bloody ages. YouTube's been, ho YouTube's been horrible all week. Uh, with this stuff. I've had a very, very difficult week trying to get videos out to, to subscribers just because notifications have been fucking up, streams have been crashing, you know, and this is the month where I got uh, 1080p internet, but, you know, when it's, uh, the technical issue is based on the site, not at not a, my local end, you know, what can you do? That being said, with all of YouTube's fault, it's still the best, best uh, video platform, at least for me. How are we going on deal live? 33 viewers, cool. Thanks for the donations on deal live, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, let me just read the chat there. Like I do, I do read the chat, but there's nothing that I need to like read out loud. If we continue like this. Take some person asks, how old is Legend? I'm 31 years old, but next week I'll be 32. So old. Thirty-two. Feels so old when you get to thirty. Can only imagine how people in their forties feel. Oh well, at least I'm married. is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Only half the enemy force remains.
The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory Do you will got a video about how to play as Norsker into the Warhammer? Uh, no, I don't actually. Um. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a super fan of Norska in Warhammer 2, so I don't. I don't really play as them. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Do you think you'll be shooting when you turn 50? To hell. Hard to say. I really don't know. I mean, it's really up to you guys. If you guys get sick of me, well, then that's game over for me. If you guys continue to enjoy, continue to, to uh, support the channel, then I don't see any reason why I wouldn't be here when I'm 50. I mean, I, if you think about it, like, 10 years from now, 10 years from now I'll be 42, right? If I look back to when I was 22, what was I doing when I was 22? I had just come out of university. No, uh, no, that's not true. I was still at university at 22. Like, this, we will smash the enemy. like 10 like ten years is such a long time. 20 years is even longer. It's hard to imagine what, 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 what's even going to be doing. What's the main thing to do when he's no 20 years from now. I have castle. no idea. You'll probably be playing something other than Total War. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it, yeah. I, 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 I don't know how much longer I can keep going with Total War, to be honest. I just get burnt out so quickly these days. All of Christendom will be in awe of the victory we have won here. Will you outlive DSP? I don't know who DSP is. <laughs> Who's DSP? Victory! We have broken them! We are victorious! What happened to your voice? How did you manage to have this manly deep voice? Um... I don't know. I'm kinda tired of explaining it. Can I just say I got surgery? I got surgery, okay. It's not true, but whatever, I'll just say that. Air of Carthage channel is doing well. Wow, well, it's doing okay. Um, I could. It's, yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's doing fine. Dark side Phil. I don't. Uh, let me. Have, I've never heard of it before. I mean, I've heard of him. Hang on. Let me have a look. Dark side Phil. Oh shit. Who's this? DSP Gaming. One hundred eighty-seven thousand. What the fuck? He's got fifty-five thousand videos. Hello everyone, Darkside Phil here. No way, 55,000 views. Uh, uh, sorry, videos. Oh my god, his channel is fucking dead. Minecraft chill stream, 11 hours ago, 365 views. He's got 187,000 subscribers. I'm gonna check him out on, on Social Blade. I don't know why. This stuff's interesting. Um, DSP Gaming, um, he's got 418 million views on his channel, that's eight times as many as mine, he's been stri he's been going since 2010, uh, but he's, his currently daily views are 29,000 views, six daily subs, whereas mine's 261 daily subs, that's 110,000 daily views. Yeah, DSP, uh, dead channel. He does well on Twitch. Ah, okay. He's a YouTuber that wanked on live stream. Okay. 
Well, you know, whatever. There's a good documentary on him called Down the Rabbit Hole. Okay. Look, I don't, I don't really worry too much about other people. I mean, why... Like, just looking at that channel, there's no total wall there, so I don't even know why people make that comparison. He seems to be a variety streamer, just plays a bunch of different stuff. Um... Uh, doesn't look like he's ever played a Total War game, but what do I know? Wow, he, he releases like... Like six videos a day at least. Damn, that's actually, that's bad for the algorithm. Really, really bad. You should only be releasing one video a day. Like, you could do one live stream and one video. Trust me, you don't want him playing Total War. Okay. I, am I gonna wank on stream? No, I'm not. <laughs> not if I can avoid it. I won't deliberately do that. I'm sure nobody wakes up in the morning and says, Ah, oh, you know what I feel like doing today? Having a jerk on a stream. I don't think anyone ever plans that shit. I think it's just that they're not careful and forget when to turn off them. There's their stuff. Explicit picks at one mil subs. Uh, no. Subs don't matter. Subs, I don't give a fuck about subs. 100,000, 1 million, don't give a shit about that. That's not important. The only thing numbers of subscribers it indicates to anyone is how long you've been on the platform, really. To some degree. It's views that matter. Monetized views. Don't give a fuck about subscribers. It's a pointless race. Where's the fight? Alright, we'll end our turn here. Holy crap, he's one sick fuck. Are you talking about me or DSP? Because now I don't know. DSP. Fair, fair enough. What? My king. So they'll maintain public order while we go. Take Could you open the gate for us? That would make things easier. Or die, whichever. Stupid Irish spy. In fact, because it's a fort, we'll just starve them out. Those walls won't Three turns. Because that, that, that'd be very costly to attack that. And I still need to build up my invasion force. Aye, my king. Aye, lord. My king. Aye, my liege. The men of Mardstellan. Oh, excuse me. Command me. Okay, moving on. 
If I donate to you $100, you are going to play Empire Total War game campaign. Hmm. It's tempting. It is tempting. Where to? Alright, I'll make a deal with you. For a hundred dollars, I'll live. I'll do one live stream of Empire Total War. How does that sound? Campaign. Playing whatever faction you want me to play as. Move out. We march no further today. Money up front. Yeah, I won't do the. Yeah, one hundred dollars sure. Why not? Why not? Tomorrow's Monday. It's a throwaway day anyway. You do a Darth mod? No, Darth mod, no deal. No, no deal. You know what? I don't even I don't even want the money. Forget it. I don't even want it. I just don't want to play Empire Total War. Forget it. Change my mind. I Lord. I Change my mind. Onward. I just don't want to play Empire Total War. I Lord. Move out. This giant pile of garbage. Alright, so Aye. I've got 12 units there. My Sorry, Lord. I got 8 units. I'll get to another 12. Sweet. Opinion on Rome 2? I don't like Rome 2. Don't like Be it. Ready. Okay. Build some stuff. Oh damn! Running out of money. Moving on. Your foes oh wow! They didn't even come out to fight. God damn! These people now kneel before. I. Where's the fight? How old's Brian? Forty-five. Aye. All right. Who else am I at war with? Just, just, oh my god, look at Norway. Probably the next best target to go for would be Scotland. Well, no, not necessarily. Because they'll have their hands full dealing with the Norwegians. The English are probably the, the easiest to take out. Aye, Captain. Hey, Captain. Dropping anchor until the morrow, sire. An enemy to crush. My king. Move out. What? Yeah, that was that was good. Starving about cost us no troops. Cool, this place now just. Makes money. Moving on. Fleet ready. Man the grapples and prepare to board. I lads! Okay, there's a town like right around here somewhere, so I'll just Well, I was a bit off as right there. That'll work out, and you go back to go pick up the other army, which will land somewhere else. Hey man, loving the content. Thanks dude, appreciate it. 37 viewers on DLive. Let's have a look here. Heinzdeck says, I love the culture feature you recruit other units with in the Britannia campaign more than the Crusader campaign. Oh, yeah. 
Don't even bother attacking Wales, you'll never win. No, that's not true. We'd, we'd win against them. They are strong, Wales, but we'd, we'd win. What do I think about Imperator Rome by Paradox? I can't wait for Imperator Rome. I think Imperator Rome is going to be one of those games that I'm going to get addicted to. That's what I think. I don't know how well it's going to do for me with streaming. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but that's that's only a month away. When does it? Hang on, let me just check Steam. When does it come out now? Imperator Rome. When do you come out? It's like April something. April twenty six. Ah, uh, more than a month away. An enemy to crush. Very well. I, my liege. Can you not tell friend from foe? I, my king. I, forward. We've marched our limit. Move out. Command me. I, my liege. Cool. This guy. This one here is going to command another army. Oh man, I'm making like no money. That's okay, soon when we capture some more territory down here, we'll make more money. Do you have any interest in the Lizard Men and Skaven DLC coming up? Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to playing it. I won't be getting early access, but I'll uh, I'll definitely cover it when, I, when it comes out. So, just keep that in mind. Alright, you need four more crush. units. Alright. I, my king. I, lord. March! Load up into the transport. Aye, sire. My king. Onward! Don't recruit anymore. Where to? Marching to battle, sire. The Irish invasion be coming. with the siege. Aye, sire. The siege goes as planned. Take a shot of whiskey every time you win the battle. And not war I'd be for a change. drunk almost immediately. No deal. Very well. It was until we meet again, sire. Do you have a Dream Total War game idea? I do, actually. Is it better for you if I watch on D-Live or here? Um, I'm not fussed. Watch wherever you want. Some people prefer to watch on DLive, some people prefer to watch on YouTube. I stream on both. I try to... I try, it's difficult, but I do try to read both chats. Um, so I'm just reading the DLive chat now, but there's not much to, to read. Um, I can't. Just do, do what you... do what you want. Plotted, Captain. Why do you have such a large donation goal? No, it's actually not much. 8,000 Linos is not much. It's like a hundred dollars. That's not eight thousand dollars. Think think of think of that donation gold is like yen. It's like eight thousand yen. It's, it's not much. My lord. Marching to engage the enemy, sire. When is Medieval Victory. 3 video coming? Okay, so do, here's the thing. When it comes down to me making the Medieval 3 video, do you guys want me to rush it and get it out sooner? Or do you want me to take my time and do it properly? Yeah, take my time. That's what I'm doing. I'm taking my time with it, making sure I'm checking things, you know, making sure I'm not making silly mistakes. I I want to be thorough with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take my time with doing that. 
Like, I, I, to be honest, the Medieval 3 video, I had originally planned to release that in December. Okay? But it's taking a lot longer than I expected. And I just want to make sure that when the time does come, I present it right. But it's going to be a series, so it's, yeah, whatever. Hi, Captain. Hi, Captain. I could probably hit Cardiff there. Where to? I my king. Stay behind one of these essentially Aye. peasant units. My lord, my king. I victory. That's the capital. Oh, that's not a good capital. Dublin it is. Good. Income increased. And it would help with public order here a little bit. Oh, actually not that much. Doesn't matter. Moving on. Medieval 3 is a mod. Uh, no. Uh, it's... Uh, okay, so here's the gist of it. People have, for literally for years, been asking me about, you know, if I was to design a Total War game, what would it be like? And what Total War game would I design? And I said, I've always said, I, if I was had to design any Total War game, it would be Medieval 3. And it's pure fantasy, of course. I'm not going to ever design Medieval 3 for real, but it's just a fantasy, you know, mind project. So, what it is, is... Basically, I've just got a bunch of Word documents with how mechanics would work and, you know, how how recruiting would work, how technology would work, how construction would work, how diplomacy would work. And it would just be me going through, you know, using some visuals to help explain it. Sort of like a dev diary explaining what my idea of Medieval 3 would work, where it would be basically addressing long-standing total war issues such as endgame boredom, bad diplomacy, uh, just things like that. Would you change the engine so it has unit collision? I, I wouldn't have any control over that. Aye, sire. Command me. Aye. March. They'll be begging for their lives soon. March! Let none live alive, lads. It's a medieval three wish list. It's not really a wish list. It goes like my word document goes into quite a bit of detail how things would work. Like if I use an example, okay. If I use an example, all right. What what should I use as an example of? Okay. How about this? How about in the chat? How about you ask? Oh, I'll answer one question. You ask a specific feature and how I would how, I would, how it would work in in my version of Medieval Three, and I'll let you know if I want to explain that or not. You tell me what you want me to to sort out. You think CA would listen to anything you said? Nah, nah. CA didn't listen to me when I was whitelisted. They're not gonna listen to me now. Unit replenishment. That's a good one. Okay. Unit replenishment. Uh, I'll I'll deal with this. I, I was actually think I was actually working on this the other day. Okay. So unit replenishment. I'm pretty happy with with how I think this would work out. So in medieval three, there would be a manpower. Manpower. Um, you would draw your troops from three different types of manpower, either either levy troops, trained troops, or professional troops, and your units are based in those three categories. Now, when you create an army in medieval three. Um, I want to try to stre streamline it so that it requires as few clicks as possible to, to create and maintain your army whilst also giving you the most amount of control possible. So you would, instead of create units, you would create unit temp you would create an army template. Okay. So you basically decide of the units that you have available, you basically select, I want this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one. So basically you, when you call your army, you can get all 20 units sorted up in your, in your army template straight away. Right. And then you get your army, your general, and then you put him in your region, and then you click muster. 
okay? And as long as you've got manpower, it'll draw troops into that army like unit replenishment as well. So mustering is the same as unit replenishment, costing you give costing you money and manpower whilst basically requiring just one click. And you would muster and replenish just like that. Same as Hoi in EU4? Sort of, sort of. Like, I'd have to go into a little bit more detail than that. But basically, it's just, it's super streamlined. You got a super, you got heaps of control over your army. Heaps of control over your army. Um, auto replenishment. It's not really auto replenishment because you have to actually select ma muster. But it gets done all at once, so you don't have to. Be like, you know, with replenishing in, like, Rome, Rome 1, right? You have to click, oh, we need to retrain this one, then this one, this one. It just retrains them all. But you just do them all at once. But you can also select which ones you don't want replenished. Sort of thing. I'd have to go into a little bit more detail, though. You know, you, you can fine-tune it. But for the person who is, just doesn't want to do any clicks, super streamlined. The Whilst also, give, like I said, also giving me lots of control. So you could recruit a 20-stack army in one turn. No, no, you can't recruit a 20-stack army in one turn. You create the template for your 20-stack army, right? And what happens is, it's sort of like Thrones of Britannia, sort of, in which, let's just say you, you, you've you got your general, you, you've gone to war, you get your general, he's in your army, and you select the template. So you go, okay, I want four units of levy spearmen, four units of levy archers, I want four units of, of hobbelars, I want four units of artillery, okay? And it's just, it basically puts these cards in your army and they all say zero, right? And he w walks around, it's got zero on these numbers. And then you click on him, it's a stance, you hit muster. And then it'll go, he'll start mustering, he won't be able to move, and he'll start mustering those men. So it'll bit replenish, you know, 30, 40% of that per turn. But the thing is, as, as it's replenishing, it draws from your manpower. So if you're out of manpower, you can't replenish. Sort of thing. That's how I would do it. That, that way you get the most amount of control with the least amount of clicks. And here's another thing. When a unit gets wiped out, when a unit gets wiped out, you don't have to re-recruit that unit again. It remembers. Like, like let's just say you go into battle and one of your cavalry units, your... your uh, Let's see, your um, dismounted feudal knights, let's just say, got, got completely wiped out. Zero men left, okay? And instead of having like 19 units in your army, you'll have the 20 units, but one of the unit cards will just say zero. So you go back to your friendly territory and you hit muster, and it will still remember that that unit was in there. And of course you could disband it, okay? And don't forget, the replenishment, it does cost money to re-recruit these units each turn. Uh, again, I'd have to go into further detail. I'm not going to go into heaps and heaps of detail now because this, this, I'm without any visuals to show these things, like I've only scratched the surface of what you can actually do. But yeah, you create your army template because that's, you know, people like to create their doom stacks or whatever. You create the army that you want, and as long as you've got the manpower, the equipment, and the money. The troops will get uh, the troops will get mustered. So think of it like this: the amount of manpower that you have is required on how much population you've got. the The types of troops that you will be able to recruit will depend on what kind of weapons you have in your armory, and the rate at which that you do, those units will be recruited into your army will be dependent on your general. So, for example, generals with better command stats will have higher replenishment rates, will, higher mustering rates. Saints, our men have the enemy general flees like the coward he is. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. So, as an example, if you had a total shit general, our men it could take him seven turns to, to, to muster a they full army. But men. if your king is like fucking Alexander the Great, uh, it could take him two turns to muster his entire army. That being said, you know, if you've got no manpower, you, you can't get more troops. 
What about cities? I don't like the idea that every city grows to a huge city. Yeah, I've... I've got that covered as well. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that, but I, I will... T uh, yeah, you... In my version of Medieval 3, you will not be able to get every city to be a huge city. Not possible. And nor would you want to. You'll want to customize your provinces. Every, every city being a huge city would not be good for you. What I've done is I've created a, a system in where having small towns is actually really valuable. How many provinces would there be? I don't know. But that's not really important. Would it be like the province system in Rome 2? Mm, sort of. Yes and no. Yes and no. I'm not going to go on about it any further. If I talk about it anymore, uh, I won't be able to use visuals and talk about it. So just, just, just wait for the video. I'm still fleshing these things out. How would you figure training into it? I'm sure that training of a knight would take longer than that of peasant militia. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So knights are something completely different as well. So again, wait, wait for the video, okay? Knights are not taken into that equation. Knights are something completely different. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. So, just to, again, just wait for the video. That's not really working. Let's get back. It's a shit charge. Only half the enemy force remains. God damn it. Well, the problem was with this, like, they just didn't charge very well into it. Look how there we go. That one unit runs. did a lot of damage to us. It wouldn't attack. break. What's its stats? No, no good cav- uh, good morale. It just wouldn't break. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Alright, we've had no super chats today. We're nearly two hours into this live stream. Mercy, my Lord. Guess we're getting the tr getting some uh, Irish generosity in this stream. <laughs> no. Ah! Uh, Stone Crypto donated ice cream, lemon, and diamond. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for the support, dude. Where's the fight? Fleet ready. Aye, disembarking. Aye, Lord. Alright. Public order there is not good. But that'll be get built before this revolt, so it'll be okay. Actually, I could just send another guy back. 
Aye, onward. Aye, Lord. Where to? Aye, my lady. Marching to battle, sire. Besieging settlement, sire. We have them hold up nicely, sire. My march! Combining the armies, sire. Aye, Lord. Onward! Aye. Joining our forces. Aye, Lord. Aye. Forward! Combining the armies. Move out! Aye. Joining our forces. Marching to engage the enemy, sire. Aye, sire. The siege goes as planned. What are we doing next? Whoa, Welsh. No, they're not Welsh longbowmen. Okay, let's try to get to Pembroke. I can't send them home. I, sire. Then you get the public order here is not very good. Uh, Zinswear did a 200 NOK March. super chat, not Irish, but close enough, eh? Uh, Norwegian's not really close, but, uh, thanks for the super chat, appreciate it, dude. The Norwegians, man, they've been so generous lately. What's going on with that? Where's the fight? My king. We shall slaughter them, sire. There'll be no room for mercy today. Kill them all! Oh, shit. Oh, it doesn't matter. The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in courage. Oh, excuse me. Can you tell us a bit about how you would change battles? No, not today. Like, I know how I would, but I'm not going to talk about it today. Wait for the video. Like I said, I would talk about one thing. So I spoke about... I spoke a little bit about unit replenishment. That'll do. Let's, let's just focus on the game now. Only half of the enemy force remains. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Cowardly for This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great But my lord, what will you gain? I remember when they said I have children to feed. Have mercy, my lord. I have children to feed. That's okay. I'll feed them you. Ah! <laughs> ah! Victory! Command me. Very well. We may camp here, lads. Aye, lord. Aye. Forward! Alright, someone's gonna have to stay behind, maybe. My lord. Set watches. We rest here. Aye, my lady. An enemy to crush. Oh, Aye, they're lord. all completely out of movement. Aye. Oh, well. It's alright. Aye, my king. Sending all the sack money over here so we can develop our regions a bit more. Alright. 
it. Only 18 of them died, not that many. Oh, I could have recruited. I forgot to do that. Oh well. My king. My lord. Onward. Okay. Come on. Be gone. You are not my liege. Alright, I think we'll make do with this. Aye. Closing to crush the enemy. Fell them like firewood, lads. Leave no enemy up. Why does he kill all the captives after every single battle? Uh, because I don't want to fight them again. What else should I be doing? Should I be ransoming them? <laughs> Why? You see, you ransom with enemies you intend to negotiate with. There's no negotiations here. I'm bringing them just blood. Alright. They'll have skirmish superiority, so we just go straight into melee. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Albert Harutyan uh, did a five little super chat. Says, "Let you know, I have a challenge for you. Why don't you download a mod Armenia between you, Kingdom in Attila, Attila, and play Legendary Difficulty?" Um, no thanks. Thanks for the super chat, but I'm not interested in that at all. I'm kind of not really into playing games just for challenge any anymore. I'd, I'd much rather play for fun, and I just I don't really find it too that fun. So again, thanks for the super chat. Appreciate the input. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. The enemy army flees the field. After them, cut the cavalry. Nice, down. got the whole army to rout at four percent casualties. We only need to run down 85%, which I think we've hit that, but 
Wouldn't hurt to just go a little bit over. Still quite a few of them running around. Christendom will be in awe of the victory we have won here today. 61 men of ours died versus 1,400 of theirs. Captured ass loads of them. Shall we release them? Let us live, sire. Please. Ransom? Surely you'd rather coin than captives, my lord. Co rather coin than captives. Well, here's the thing. You're going to be corpses. Ah. I ain't taking no captives. Slaughter man. Where's the fight? <laughs> Victory! These people now kneel before us, sire. Victory! Command me. An enemy to crush. We shall slaughter them, sire. They're I. They'll be begging for their lives soon. March! Marching to battle, sire. Aye! Victory! Alright, leave behind a unit of sire. them. Marching to engage the enemy, sire. Need more left behind. Aye! Victory! My lord. Aye! March! I might be gone. You are not. Marching to battle, sire. And so far, zero quarters have been shown by legend. But that's the thing, I never show any quarter. Why would I? There's no benefit in it. I just steamroll, I just crush them. I don't need the money. I'd rather them just be dead. And because in, in Medieval 2, the AI has to actually abide by the manpower laws, if you kill off all their armies, they just can't, they can't just immediately replace them than they can in other Total War games. By the Saints! Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, the enemy army flees the field. After All of Christendom will be... My lord, reconsider! Ah! Lord, slaughter me. Where's the fight? Command me. I know there's quite a lot of troops up this way. So we've got to be careful. I probably won't be able to defeat that. March. Where's the fight? Fleet ready. Aye, my lord. Engaging the enemy fleet. Aye, lads. Victory! Alright, here's my lord. other army. Aye, lord. Okay, let's my bring king. them down. There we go. Man, that is a fucking Victory. fast end turn. Alright. Core spotted, Captain. Man the grapples and prepare to board. Aye, lads! No Victory! defeats you. Come and get me. Ooh, well, that would be that would actually be really difficult for me to win that. Big oh, that would be you really tough. I will only address you in battle. I think I might be able to manage it, just depends. Aye, sire. Aye. 
Uh, I wouldn't even be able to bring the infantry. Uh, that's too difficult. Um, I'll wait until next turn. Command me. We shall slaughter them, sire. Uh, your foes lie dead at my feet, sire. This place has fallen before. Be gone. You are not my liege. An enemy to crush. Aye. I don't care if they take that back. Let's move on to Montgomery. March. Come and get me, you coward. Command me. Aye. Closing to crush the enemy. Those walls won't cool. protect them for long. Is it time to take the walls? Did I watch the F1? No, I don't care about that kind of stuff. The only kind of TV I watch is Netflix. I don't know if it's on Netflix, but I wouldn't watch it even if it was. We're besieged. Could I repel Be that? Maybe. Maybe I could repel that. What? Very well. Draw an opportunity here. Get me, you coward. They'll be begging for their lives soon. King March. Lily Willilin. <laughs> King Lil Lily Willin. Nah, I know it's Llewellyn, but still. Let's call him Lily Willy Willin. Alright, let's call this out. Let none leave alive, lads. Slaughter! How long will the stream last? Uh, to be honest, probably not that much longer. Yeah. I mean, I'm not... I don't know, I'm not totally challenged by this, and, uh... We'll see. It's alright. Enemy reinforcements are coming from over here, I think. Oh, that's just... Green on green. God damn it. So it's not the right kind of green. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Alright. Let's see if we can get King Connor to kill King Lily Willen. Oh, shit. He's not coming into battle. It glitched out. Um, okay, I can I can maybe work with this. Maybe you've got to be careful though with this. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. All I need to do is kill him. This guy's going ham at it. There's no YouTube donation goals, discrimination. Well, it's King up to you slain, if you want to donate or not on YouTube. Enemy, oh, on uh, D-Live we got uh, Mooseland just did another two diamonds and two ice creams and another ice cream. So three ice creams. Thanks, dude. Really appreciate the support there on D-Live.
Alright, so Llewellyn's down. We gotta get to the enemy general somehow. Which one is it? It's this one here, I think. And because he's got so much dread, it literally doesn't even matter if we haven't killed the enemy general yet. It's just gonna cause huge mass rout anyway. Just because of his sheer presence. Dread. This much dread is so overpowered. Our men are this is why it's important to execute captives. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. One of the things I love about Medieval 2, it's possible to get generals that are just so overpowered. They just cause mass routes even without having to touch the enemy units. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Well, tell them get away. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yeah, I don't do co op campaigns. Just two single player. Corpent campaigns always perform badly, and I just don't want to do them. Cut the cowards down. That guy get away there. We haven't yet got 85%. Although running them down should get us to 85. Why did it take me so long to discover your channel? Uh, I don't know, it just, just takes so long, I guess. Could you stream Club Penguin? Uh, no, probably not gonna stream Club Penguin, to be honest. I closing to crush the enemy. Your foes lie dead at my feet, sire. These people now kneel before us, sire. We can barely maintain public order here in Montgomery. Hmm. Alright, so now we got this one here. This one actually will be a challenge. So, let's see how we go. God damn it. Okay. Whoa. This is going to be tough, but I think I, think I can win, but... I don't know. Do you don't get bored by playing so much Total War? Oh yeah, I get bored all the time, but it's my job. I'm sure that all of you get bored at your jobs. Uh, just, you know, just do the best I can with what we got.
Hang these back in reserve for the time being. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. If we can kill Daffy Boy over here, I think that'll make a good start. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. We can start the battle by knocking him off right off the bat, that would be just great. Really need you to shoot that general's bodyguard. Don't let him get away, don't let him get away! Okay, considering how many of them got away, probably not going to wipe out the enemy army. Even if we win. Yeah, too many of them escaped. Wasn't expecting them to run away so quickly. Fucking horse javelin units. But he's gotten ripped to shreds though. So that's good. Only half the enemy force remains. Let's see, how many of them got away? Uh, it was like 68, so yeah, there's there's no way we'll get to 85%. Unbelievable. Look how our cowardly four runs. It is tight. Don't let him get away. Get back over there. The enemy king lies dead, slain oh, by so our to capture him. Warriors. Doesn't matter. Attack! While his men mourn their loss. Alright, which one's the general? I'm assuming... Yeah, that one's it there, the mailed knights. Okay, I gotta get... The javelin men... Around there to try and kill him. While that's going on, we gotta take out these missile units. Uh, Richard Kiss did a HUF 1848 super chat. Make your own Total War game and Black the CA. Keep up the good work, fucker. Alright, <laughs> thanks, dude. Um, appreciate that. So I don't know how much that is, but it must be in somewhere in the vicinity of like five to fifteen dollars. I'm like I said, I'm not sure. Oh god damn it! This guy here died. Gotta be careful, if I lose the general, it'll really suck. What was Javelin men? They got such short range. Oh man, this isn't looking so good. Yeah, this army is nowhere near as good as my other one. Only intervention by the Almighty Lord or a military like I said, I, I wasn't overly confident on this mess. one. Get these guys out of there. The strength of the general makes a big difference. Although their general's over here, if we could kill him. Just 
leave them be. You get over here. Try and go around them. There's only a few mailed knights left, take him out. If he dies, I'm pretty confident we'll win. The losing the infantry literally doesn't matter. <sighs> mailed knights, can't really escape them, they're faster than General's bodyguard. The enemy general no, don't like the run. He is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Well, he either will or won't come back. Can't really do much about that now. It's not looking good, though. It's really not looking good. Their cavalry just gave us such a hard time. Like I said, I was biting off more than I could chew with an inexperienced general. It's not looking good. They're... they're Balanced army against our unbalanced army is giving us a hard time. And our generals is dying really quickly. Man, I might be able to win, but it just depends. If my general dies, I'm screwed. God damn it, these fucking mailed knights. Get out of my face. You guys get over here. I have to take out... Yeah, their general ran away. Which will lower their morale a little bit, but not by much. I have to take out their mailed knights first. Before I worry about any of these other units. Ah, he's really tired now. Yeah, I'm not, not too hopeful about this. Need someone to take out this unit here. Hang on, hang on, I might just win this. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Their cavalry just got defeated. It's not over yet. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. See, their generals run away. And they've just lost all of their archers. My general's still alive, and all their cavalry. You yeah, watch, they might have the bounce of power, but we've got the morale the advantage. Come on, come back, come back. Joseph Fallon did a five pound super chat, thanks dude, appreciate that. Go on, let's get a huge comeback here. Run, 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 charge into their rear. They're wavering. The men are wavering. Come on, get in there. No, you. I won the battle. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Yeah, I've won. The enemy army flees the field. After them, cut the caverns down. Once we took out their archers and cavalry, they didn't stand a chance again. Especially once their general left the battlefield. It would have been good if we had killed him. But we got the better of him. All of Christendom will be in awe of the victory we have won here today. Ah! 
<laughs> How am I supposed to defend against this? Uh, ten pounds. Uh, sorry, ten euros subject for the comeback. Never doubted. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Um, this is for their getaway, if possible. Uh, I can't get on there. I can't go there. Can't do that. It will be an honor defeating you. I respect. There's no hope in hell of me being that. At least we, we gave him a good kick in the ass. What? Aye. Alright, well, this... We can't leave here just yet. The public order is really bad. Where's the fight? Aye. Closing to crush the enemy. A glorious slaughter man. We have broken them! We are victorious! Alright, let's see An what's enemy next. To crush. Orders. Command me. We're getting stretched Aye. a little bit thin Forward. now. Aye. March. Yeah, we're, we're getting stretched so Aye. thin that I, I really can't Aye. progress any further without reinforcements. Oh wow, we got loads of money. But these settlements here, the main thing, they just need public order. And reinforcements, of course. We're gonna have to reinforce these positions for a bit. Cool. Making loads of money per turn, because we lost a lot of troops. But, uh, okay, moving on. What the fuck? He didn't come for me. You could raise tra taxes at Chipperary. Uh, yeah, but I want it to grow, so... Y you're right, I could, but money's money's not a problem right now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait a few turns, build up our provinces up a little bit. Where's the fight? They'll be begging for their lives soon. March! They are doomed now, sire. Is it time to take the walls? Aye, Captain. Aye, sire. We'll be burdened to engage the enemy. I blockade my ports. Victory! What's your favorite Kingdoms expansion? Um, I like uh, Crusades, I think, the best. Hmm, some English mail not seems like... Seems useful. Public order here just barely hanging on by a thread. If we can hold on for three turns, this will make a big difference in maintaining public order. Also, once we get rid of some insurgents, that'll really help. Also, why we should be having um, King Brian maintain the public order. See, that's that's much better. A most noble conquest, sire. And with his extra management, he'll actually help uh, convert the region over to Irish culture much faster. Right, let's move on. Sire, the enemy lay siege to our walls. What? We shall slaughter them, sire. 
Is it time to take the wall? Now this is a fortress, so we have to fight it manually. Ah, yeah, order resolving that is risky. Okay. Let none leave alive, lads. So Alright, attacking from all from one angle is not a good idea. We should attack from multiple angles, since considering they don't have many troops and neither do we. Gotta find a weakness in their walls. Look, excuse me. I really liked how in Medieval 2 DLC, so this Medieval 2 DLC, you could recruit the units of your enemies if you had some of their culture in that settlement. Yeah. How scared am I getting demonetized? Um, I'm not, I'm not at any risk. What have I done recently to get demonetized? I've followed YouTube's guidelines very well lately. So, I don't know what I have to be afraid of. Our men have reached the gate with a battering ram. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. So those just look like peasants. Right, come on. Cavalry, come on, get over here quickly. Uh, they're gonna get back inside. Right, go. Yeah, the gate's closed. But you still got a chance to get over here. Ladders are now in place. Walls oh, this is no a citadel. Force of our arms. This is very fortified. They shouldn't be having cavalry fight these spearmen here, but I can't let them get back in. Yeah, open the gate for us. Uh oh. Don't let them get back inside. Come on, shoot that. We got a decent charge on them though. Shit. What are these up here? Peasants. Difficult. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Should be able to beat this guy in melee now. 
Then again, these Morgwang Spearmen, they're pretty damn good. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Get back on the ramp. Quick, 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 follow them inside. Shit, our general's gonna get fucked up if he's not careful. No, 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 no! Okay, he's turning around, good. It's not like Rome Turtle will. Rome Turtle will, they get, they get really badly stuck. Can't let this guy get back to the town square, that would be disastrous. Gotta keep the gate open until these guys get in there. is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. These units here are really tough. They gave my cavalry a really hard time. I kept trying to cycle charge them, just obviously not going to work inside the city. At the same time, I can't let them get back to the town square. It's okay, they'll go soon. They didn't kill my general, so that's the main thing. Should be able to get them to break. There we go. Okay, we just need to break in through here and we've got this. The hard part's over now. That was their toughest news. Peasants and Seth Wynn, so no big, no big deal now. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. He's a little bit bloody, but he's okay. Good. Our foolish general has thrown his life Fuck. away. And perhaps He's okay. Of victory with it. I thought he was gonna be okay. Guess not. We we'll still win the battle, but god damn it. It's all right. Right at the end of the battle, too. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Victory is ours, but only by a sword's edge. Yeah, I jinxed it. Still got the uh, still got the citadel though. But are we gonna hold it? Probably not. Doesn't matter. We we've got it for the time being. It's right. He was a he was a shit general. Where to? Marching to engage the enemy side. Oh, that's actually pretty tough to deal with. Well, this will be tricky. 
because of that artillery, yeah. I might actually be better off waiting for them to actually make the attack. Oh, fuck. Now I'm gonna do it. Units, await my orders. All right, let's get organized. Okay, so... They'll probably try to move back, so if we rush them... We rush out here quickly, they won't get into position in time. And these guys will be hanging back. Go, 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 go. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah. Disabling their trebuch uh, trebuchets is definitely good. Good start. Alright, so at least, at least those are out of the way. A lot of feudal knights though. Okay, just, yeah, stand there. What we're gonna do is go around the back, try to stop the, the actual general. Might be a little bit difficult though. Bring him back over here, because if they so see how we go. I'll keep trying to fuck around their their archers. So that our guys can shoot with more or less impunity. Yeah, I really need them to shoot the feudal knights. They're, they're, they're going to be the biggest problem in this battle. Good, they're taking damage, that's what we want to see. So overall, okay, we're winning by a decent margin at the moment. So just got to keep stopping them from shooting. Six to thirty percent kill ratio. Should 
Should just continue the fight in that. Well, it was good while it lasted. A little fucking them around for a while. It's good to see most of their cavalry is gone. Well, a lot of it, obviously most. So far, so good, though. Did he lose the previous battle? No. No, I won. But, General got killed right at the end. Fighting archers in melee. Wasn't expecting that. Guess he had just lost a lot of hit points fighting those other spearmen before. Well, we've still got ammo, we should keep shooting them. We've got the advantage with that. Oh, it's gonna hurt. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, Victory will the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yeah, we're definitely going to win this. Provided my general doesn't die first. But he should be fine. Gotta get to those longbowmen. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue yeah, like this, we will smash the enemy. Or break, whichever. Oh, they went back up on their artillery. Oh, they're running away? Yeah. Just means we don't get to wipe out the entire army, but we'll still do loads of damage to them. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Fucking Longbowmen got Look away. How are the enemy are utterly bank. But my lord. What will you gain? <laughs> ah, victory! So that certainly damaged our army a fair bit, and we're not getting any new units just yet. I don't, I don't really like getting artillery. Got some reinforcements over here that I can send Orders. in. Sire. Aye, Lord. March. That'll do us for the time being. I'm going to need to send in some troops from the mainland. I've got heaps of money, so we just got to hire them where, where I've got them. Aye. Course plotted, Captain. Aye, sire. Yeah, we're making like 10 grand a turn because all of our forces bloody died. Welsh Longbowmen, those would be good. I 
Okay, we can barely maintain public order here. Unfortunately, if our general had lived, actually, that would have been much better for public order. Um, I've still got this guy here. He could, he could control them. So there we go. That's under control now. Okay, moving on. We have things to discuss. Yeah, a ceasefire with the English might be a good idea for the time being. I'll see if I can get some regular tribute off them. Just for like a couple of turns. Possibly a mistake. Good day to you. Just to buy some time to consolidate these territories that we've gained. Let us try words. Same with them. I'll just accept. Yeah, they're, they're bankrupt, change. so we're not gonna get anything out of them. We cannot well that seemed fruitful. Farewell. What do we need for victory conditions? Hold thirty five oh, we're not even close to that. Aye, Captain. Aye, Captain. Fleet ready. So, Shrewsbury's the Welsh's last settlement. They're going to go bankrupt with all these, these losses that they're taking. Uh, all those soldiers. Move out! Public order over here is maintaining. It's good. The fires of independence burn brightly in Scotland. That's pretty early for them to show up. Weary of aggression from its neighbours, a new hero has emerged to unite Scotland's clans. His name is William Wallace. A minor noble he may be, but behind him march thousands of warriors, each one with freedom in his heart and a sword in his hand. Like a pitchfork. I should be completely at peace. Yeah, we are completely at peace. Ugh, all of the forces out here are really well, well supplied. There's no easy, easy targets. Actually, Gl Gloucester seems pretty easy. Still, my army is not yet ready. The reinforcements, that is. That's half an army. They'll meet up with the other half over here, and we'll see what we can do. Should play Thrones of Britannia, the most advanced Britain. Oh yeah, I can see that you got the S in there. Very funny. Very funny. Very very funny. I don't have Thrones of Britannia installed anymore. I don't see the point in inst in reinstalling it until another patch comes out. But I don't think they're gonna do another patch. Let's let's have a look at Thrones of Britannia actually, just real quickly. How many people are currently playing it? Thrones of Britannia, two thousand three hundred. That's actually quite a lot. Compared to Medieval 2, where you've got 
5,900 people. Wow, there's a lot of people playing Total War Games right now. Rome 2's got 11,000 people playing. And how many people playing Warhammer 2? 27,000. Fuck, everybody's out in force playing Total War tonight. Room 2, yeah, 11,000 people playing Room 2. Because of the sale. 27,000 people wh Warhammer 2 right now. I bet people, people bought like Thrones of Britannia are like, ah, oh, even at 50% off this game sucks. Aye, my liege. Aye, lord. Can't leave just yet. Good, it's more than 54% Irish, that's good to see. And let's move on. So looking at the other factions, comparing them to us. So at the moment, is that us there? Yeah, so at the moment, overall, we're ranked number two. England still ranked number one. Militarily, we're ranked number four. Territorially, we're the biggest. Population, we've got the most. Cool. So that fort's got nothing in it. Ready to resume hostilities with the English? I think so. Sire. Aye, Captain. God damn, look how fortified that is. Charles Dayton did a five dollar super chat. Howdy from Texas, love the channel. Thanks dude, appreciate it. Love your super chat. <laughs> Might come around over here and attack Chester. I'm gonna avoid the Welsh just because they've only got one region left and look at all these armies. We're gonna try and find a way to just sneak in there and capture it. I, my liege. My lord. Okay, the public order here is not that bad. I, my liege. Holding war spotted captain. Dropping anchor until the morrow, sire. Yeah, okay. What's next? Moving on. I bring word from England, noble sire. No alliance, forget that. We understand your until we meet again, sire. Greetings. We have a word for you. Yeah, I'll accept that. Sure, I have to pay them a lot of tribute, but it's fine. People and Scotland's. Get ashore now. All right, up to Chester we go. Yep. Fuck me. Begging for their lives soon. March. 
Those walls won't protect them for long. Is it time to take the walls? Aye. So that's under the control of the Baron's Alliance. I don't particularly want to fight them. We've got Arundel over here. Let's make a push Aye, for that. My liege. Aye, Lord. Leading the men with honor, sire. Right, this will be a draw out. Alright, let's do it. Almost 55,000 people playing Civ 6. Shit, let's have a look at that. Doesn't surprise me if it is. Uh, Civ 6. 54,186. Yeah. How many people are playing EU4? Let's have a look. EU4, we've got 21,000 people playing that. Uh, how many people are playing Factorio? Uh, I wouldn't say. Which probably means not many. Uh, let's see. Crusader Kings 2. Nine thousand people playing it. Age of Empires too. Let's have a look at that. That's actually got a lot big player base. Fifteen thousand people playing that. Where's Hoi Four? Let's have a look at Hoi Four. Thirty thousand people playing Hoi Four. This Paradox games have a much larger player base than Total War games. Right now, this first army it's just mostly got catapults in it, so we just got to charge at them. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in courage. Our foolish general. Are you fucking kidding me? And perhaps our chances of victory with it. My God, that was so unlucky. Are you fucking kidding me? I even tried to move him out of the way because it's. God damn it. That was so unlucky. I thought the Irish were supposed to be lucky. That's gonna make this battle a lot more difficult now. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will. Now we'll get a man of the end. hour if we win, but still, that that fucking sucks. I wish I had that kind of luck when I used catapults. Only half the enemy force and I'm remains. shooting my own troops. Joseph found that a two pound super chat for his funeral. Yeah. yeah I'm not going to give a go oh, like that a funeral. Loser. Died on a catapult. Alright, we'll still win the battle. Based on what I'm seeing here, we're still going to win. Sergeants. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The enemy oh, army on. flees the field. I've been paying attention, them, and they're right. Cut the caverns down. They're right here. It's going to be difficult without the general, though. It's one of the reasons why I didn't want to send them over here. I don't want them getting Mighty too tired. Lord above, we have captured the enemy general. 
That will teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. At least our strength is way higher than theirs. Oh my god, they got a trebuchet. Okay, it's okay. I'll send send these uh, English mailed knights over there to sort them out. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. And every time they, they shoot, I feel like it's going to hit my men really hard. Look at that, they're shaking already. Even though we're winning the battle. Okay, yeah, if, if, if they gotten hit by artillery, they would have just broken. Nobody likes to get hit by artillery. They're, they're managing okay, but they're also getting a little bit wrecked. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press Our him. men have captured Good. the enemy general. Guard them well, so we can watch us we defeat win. the rest of his army. Hey, come back here, you cowards. Fucking losers. I needed them to help me run down the enemy. Oh well, make do with what we got. Since run away there. army flees the field. After them, cut the caverns down. Oh, they're too close to the edge of the map now. Probably not going to have wiped them out. We're only at... Oh, it's going to be close. Yeah, probably not, not have wiped them out. Too many of the enemy got away. Christendom will be in awe of the victory we Oh, hang on. We today. might have just made it. Cool. If if cuz if they get wiped out, we take the fort. Did they get wiped out? Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. All right, I'm just going to put That's a okay. Merge. Put you in here. That'll stop Instead of just one Our guy most in there. Noble conquest, sire. I, my liege. By your will, sire, we shall engage. We shall hold them to siege, sire. I, I will only address. This guy is completely stuck here. He has to get through this castle. Coward. Aye, Lord. Move out. In order to get to us. 
Aye. Sorry, through that fort, I mean. Sire, we march no further today. An enemy to crush. Everything seems okay. Let's move on. We're set for an ambush. I, my liege, leading the men with honor, sire. I, victory. We're getting very close to London now. It's just up here. My king, I, I, my liege, my lord. Mm, I can't, I can't leave it like that. I have to stay here for a few turns. Public order is not good enough. I, lord, onward. Command me. We shall slaughter them, sire. Could we order reserve this one as well? Oh shit! <laughs> I shouldn't have order resolve that. It's all right. Make for the hills last. Run. God, it looks like rushing Go now. Back. Break off the siege. Order resolve can yield random results in this. I. Alright guys, I'm probably going to get off soon. Um, like, I'm just going through the motions again with this, so... We've, we've reached the point where th no one's going to be able to stop us. Um, even losing the odd battle here and there is... We got something. I basically just wanted to capture London and then call it a day there. I'm not going to drink. Let us try words and not no, war this is for good data. Oh, enemy fleet attacking. Prepare to engage, sire. Pull back and disengage. The enemy's not stopping. To your posts, the enemy fleet attacks. The battle is lost. Row for your lives. The enemy has surrounded us. We're besieged. Okay, the public order... Sorry. Wow, it's already at 28%. Okay. Can we leave, please? I, my liege. Orders. Seventy percent, we can leave. I, my liege. I, sire. We march to glory. Okay, there's a chance we can take London, but I need I to know what we're up against. You in battle. I, my liege. My king. Yes. I. Try with this. Leaving the army. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Alright, I think I can manage. It'll be a little bit on the tough side, but I think I can manage. Okay, I'd love it if my general didn't die to the first shot that fired up on him this time. That would just be great. Hope to make up Gotta go take out those trebuchet and we'll let the archers take out the billmen. Can barely see where their troops are because of the fucking trees. Okay, so after this video, uh, sorry, after this live stream, I'll be releasing the next mod review. It's for Dividea Tempera. So, even though it's a relatively short live stream today, um, I get you covered with more content. I don't think it's a great mod review, though. I didn't know what to say about it. Oh, no. 
if it doesn't do well, it'll be the last live, uh, the last um, mod review that I that I do because I I'm not enjoying them. I don't. I don't actually desire playing any more mods. They actually just kind of get on my nerves. Especially like spending 20 hours playing EB2, for example, a mod that I probably would have turned off. I should have turned off after five hours. Um, it's just a waste of my time. So I'm just I'm not really that interested in like finding out the flavor of the month mod anymore. Oh well, a bit of an experiment that didn't really go anywhere. I'm using your profile pic as a live stream thumbnail. <laughs> well, you must have found it from the same place I did. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's actually pretty funny. That's the first, actually. Mods for Medieval 2 is shit. No, I think it's the other way around. I think uh, the, the mods for the Medieval 2 are the best. They have lost and like... Men. Like, I, I like... Dividend Impera as a mod. But there's not a lot. There's not a lot they can do. They can't add much to the to the game with um, Rome two mods. Come on, get out of there. General lies dead. The enemy army flees. Rem two it feels like a defunct game. Them, cut the caverns down. Yeah, I don't like Rem two. I do the not like it at all. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Well, I can tell you this much. Today was a shit live stream. <laughs> Absolute shit. Shit number of viewers. Shit support. But you know what, you get that every now and again, especially considering today's Sunday night. But that being said, it could also be because Pat, Pat, uh, it's St. Patrick's Day. People might be out, you know, actually partying. But it is definitely contributing to me ending the stream early. But you know, three, three, to three hours, 15 minutes, not a short live stream. But usually I do do six. I don't think I'll bother with a St. Patrick's Day live stream next year, that's for sure. Obviously, people have certain expectations. You do a St. Patrick's Day live stream, you don't drink. You know. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue, the enemy are badly bloodied. They have good tidings. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to. Press how come it was attack. shit? My solo debut today, so I couldn't watch much. Well, okay, so today's a Sunday night with a with a new campaign. Banquished. And we couldn't even hit 700 viewers. That's very low for a Sunday night. Um, it's not a dead live stream, but for a Sunday night like this, just comparing it to previous Sunday nights and previous live streams, it, it didn't perform well. Uh, super chats were on the low side. You know, that's that's fine. You know, can't expect to make heaps of money every single night, and that's fine. Uh, but overall, just not a great live stream. And you know, I'm just going through the motions now. Remember 50 viewers on Twitch? Yeah, I'm not comparing this stuff to Twitch anymore, I'm comparing it to other YouTube live streams. Most of your Americans are out getting fucked up. Yeah, you, you could be right. You could be right. Legendary getting bored of Total War? Yeah, it's, it's tough because I feel like I've played everything. Everything worth playing at least. So it, it can, it's very difficult playing the same game over and over again. I gotta come up with a new type of content. Maybe even not live streaming as much. I think the. Then again, it's still good to live stream. Just. Uh, I miss getting, like. Coming on and getting a thousand viewers every single time. But. I don't know. It's, whatever. We've taken London, so. That's all I'm prepared to do. 
What's Ireland's victory conditions? We need 35 regions, so we're halfway there to that. Uh, Dublin and Trim, which I've got both of those. Alright guys, yeah, it was just a, just a bit of a short live stream today. Today was, like, I was just che checking to see if uh, St. Patrick's Day, or these public holidays are even a, a good idea to be live streaming on. And I guess the answer to that is no, not really. You need to unite Ireland under one banner. I've done that. It's all of Ireland's under our control. Do I play EU4, Hoi4? No, not really. I mean, I... Do it in my own time, but I don't wanna I don't wanna live stream it. Previous experiences with that haven't really been very good. Um anyway, I think I need a break. Um like I said, I've got a I've got a top uh, not top five, a um a mod review video um to release right now. Um Guys, yeah, there's another thing, is that I am I can really feel getting burnt out, and I think a lot of you guys can notice it as well, because people keep asking me, aren't you getting bored of Total War? I, I am starting to get really burnt out, um, but the thing is, like, I don't have any reserve content, so, I don't know, I'm trying to figure this out, but it's not easy. I got a, I got a, I got a difficult couple of days ahead, where I got to pump out something good, but it's difficult, because I'm uninspired. Anyway, I'll leave it at that, and, uh, I'll, thanks to everyone who did support the stream, uh, on DLive and on YouTube, and I'll, we still love you? Oh, thanks, love you too. No, not really, but, <laughs> um, you know, you, you get this. Sometimes, sometimes, you, you know, the muses are singing and you can't do anything wrong. It's other times, it's just uninspired trash. And unfortunately, you know, you get you get peaks and dips. Uh, at the moment, we're just going through a dip. That happens. Mood does fray once in a while. Take a break from, you can't take a break from YouTube. I'm like, I, you, you know, you just can't. Okay, everybody who takes a break from YouTube just dies as a channel. You just can't do that. Um, but I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I'll see you later, fuckers.